you're getting into owning and operating an RV, it's going to be a series of baby steps. Hi, I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided, you know what? Life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and experiences. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. We're a year into our journey here and we're just now learning how to do some basic maintenance that needs to be done. Okay, so this is day two of preventative maintenance on our wheels and suspension. Whew. Yesterday was a fiasco. They recommend you grease the bearings at least once a year. We're gonna remove the wheels. We're gonna inspect everything. Are you sure that we're qualified to do this checklist of mechanical automotive no no we're not qualified to do it oh, but that's reassuring i think we got pretty good instructions from these people that i don't know on the internet and, <laughs> and to answer your question no i'm not an expert and don't anybody out there take anything that i'm doing as expert advice we made a trip to harbor freight and i haven't been underneath here all summer so we're gonna have to get in there and get rid of some spider webs i believe i'm just gonna see if anything looks odd do you know what odd looks like yeah and yeah, now that i've pissed off all the spiders we're gonna get started one bottle jack coming up i don't remember if i'm supposed to put the bottle jack under like directly attach it to the bottom of the axle seems like something you should have already known before we start this process well i'm seeing what grand design recommends for jack placement isn't that cool look at that my toy doesn't work well, how does that go I'm gonna bring it back down and try and get these lugs untightened. Bingo, baby. It works. I'm 60 years old, 61 now, and I've never used a torque wrench. Apparently, not only do you have to make sure they're calibrated, but you have to exercise them before you use them. How many days do we have before we leave? We couldn't even figure out how to get the fitting on the grease gun on and back off. Okay, so watching it on YouTube is a little bit different than trying it in person. Let's see, what time is it? See, we got one tire done and it's almost dark. So, one tire a day. How many days until we leave? Three. We better pick up the pace and get three of these done tomorrow. But now we know what we're doing. So today we're going to show you what maybe some other YouTube channels don't show you and they're explaining how to repack your bearings. We're gonna leave the rest of our wheels on because we simply don't have time to pull them all off, but we are going to check the U-bolts and repack all the bearings. We're gonna walk you through the things we learned, what to look for, and the things that might happen so that you'll know that you're not alone in the world. It's probably gonna happen. You'll get through it. It's okay. I'm going to climb underneath and I'm going to check the torque on the U-bolts. Got my torque wrench here and I'm going to put them at 65 pound, foot pounds. Make sure they're good to go before we jack it up and grease the wheels. It's not easy, but I'm glad we're doing this because all four of those were on the loose side. Now I'm going to climb underneath and get the jack in place. We're going to jack up the second axle and we're going to get to work on lubing these uh, bearings up. And don't forget to chalk the wheels before you start jacking this baby up. And the reason that we're jacking the axle up is to lift the wheel off the ground because while we're filling the bearings with grease, we're gonna be turning the wheel counterclockwise and that helps it distribute 
throughout the bearings. So to get to these easy lube bearings, you just pull off the cap and then there's another little rubber cap inside there. Always a good thing to have on hand are these rubber gloves and make sure you got plenty of paper towels on hand. We had a little bit of trouble with this grease gun yesterday not knowing really how they work and twice we ended up losing the suction in there. We got air bubbles into it and it quit distributing grease so we had to go back and rework it. Today we're going to try and do a better job. Go ahead and unscrew the tube from the gun and then pull the spring back all the way. Then you want to pull this plastic end off of the um, Molygraph multi-purpose grease and then you're going to pop the top off of it and it goes in with the, the end that had the plastic on it first. Okay, now that we got the grease into the gun, we're going to push down on the spring release and we're going to push in the little plunger dealy bobber. And then you need to keep pumping on this thing until you get all the air out. Okay, and you got the Zerk in here. You want to make sure it's good and cleaned off to begin with so you, you're going to know when the old grease is coming out. And you take your, your Zerk fitting and you push it on until it snaps into place. You'll feel it snap into place and it's not gonna come off. In fact, it was quite hard taking it off yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping grease in here and Tammy's gonna turn the tire. And don't expect this to happen fast. Yesterday we pumped the better part of a tube into the bearings on that first tire. Starting to see the dark grease come out, so we're getting there. And for other newbies out there, when you can't get the gun part off of the Zerk part and it's like stuck, don't freak out like we did and call the neighbor. It will come off. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little, yank on it a little, and it'll just magically release at some point. So know that that is normal and it will come off eventually. And now we're gonna clean out that grease out from the inside. And now my job is to clean out all the excess grease. Yum. And then we're gonna check the torque on our lug nuts and make sure those are where they should be. So I'm gonna take the uh, torque wrench and I'm gonna reset it to 120 foot-pounds. Okay, 120 foot-pounds of torque and we're going to use the pattern that it recommended in the Grand Design User's Manual for an 8-bolt wheel. And you want to turn it until it clicks. And then we're going to use our rubber care to treat the outside of the tire. It's a UV protectant. You spray it on, let it set for 10 minutes, and then wipe it off. While that's setting, we are going to go grease the rest of the wheels and be done with this job. Okay, I feel like I'm covered in spiders and I need a shower. I got all the tires done. Now we are going to lube up the hitch. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently Scott says we need to do that too. So we're not quite done with that grease gun. So I'm told you need to be greasing the hitch on your truck maybe every six months. It's been a year, so we're gonna we're gonna do that before we wrap today up. I don't know how I feel about greasing the hitch. It's, you need to grease the hitch. So we're gonna lubricate the head with standard automotive grease through the Zerk. And I'm just gonna give it a few squirts until I start seeing it come out. And there goes that stubborn Zerk again. If you have a trick to getting that thing off easily every time, let me know, because this is frustrating. On the underside of the head, we're gonna clean that up, and then we're gonna go over and clean the bushings up that are on the base. So cleaning these bushings, you're supposed to use polyurethane-friendly 
cleaner and I don't think I have any so I'm just wiping down the old lithium grease with a dry towel. We're going to apply the new and reset the head. Okay, we're on the home stretch. I think all we have left to do is clean up the jaws of the hitch and give them a little lubrication and I think we're done. That's amazing because we need to take some anti-inflammatories and go rest now. All right. You feeling better? Well, physically, no. My body hurts, but mentally I feel, <laughs> feel a little more knowledgeable about the workings of our wheels, tires. I know that if something happens, we could actually change the tire. Yeah. I know. I know now. Know how to calibrate a torque wrench. Mm -hmm. I now know how to pack a wheel bearing through a zerk. Through a zerk. I hate the word zerk. We know what a zerk is now. I don't want to say zerk again for six months. Is that how long we have to wait before we do this again? <laughs> six months. <laughs> anyway, if you learned anything from this video and are a newbie yourself. Please drop a comment below and let us know you're out there and we're not alone in the world. <laughs> we really appreciate you all for following along on our journey. And now we're gonna go clean up and make dinner. We took another tire off. The reason is, is because our stupid hubcaps can't come off unless you take the tire off. And the reason we need to take the hubcap off is because we dropped the little plug that goes in right here down into the hubcap. Shower time. This wasn't easy when I was 17 the last time I changed a tire and it's not easy now. How are you doing out there, babe? <laughs> How often do we have to do all this lubing and greasing, babe? I don't know, you're always asking me why. I don't know why. I watched a YouTube video and we do apologize for fumbling through this like novices because we are. We understand that nomenclature does matter. And What's nomenclature? Nomenclature's learning the right terminology. So a zerk is not that little orifice. Or... But I don't even know what nomenclature means, so how am I supposed to understand the nomenclature okay. of the nomenclature? Well, does anyone else, did anyone else know what nomenclature meant? Nomenclature. Oh, clature. Never, <laughs> I've never heard that word in my life. Okay. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Let's say goodnight. Our battery's about to die. Okay. Good night.